so many roads to choose. We start out walking and home to home. We've only just begun. We are live today with Essence of Zen After Dark. It's been a week since our inadvertent break, which we'll get to in a moment. But I must say, Lewis, how are you? Doing pretty swell. Doing pretty swell. It was a good trip at uh, Six Flags. Much fun. In California, Such a while. Right? California. No. Uh, what made you guys go to Six Flags over Disneyland? <clears throat> uh, well, I honestly prefer Six Flags, but it was uh, for my brother's birthday. Nice. My brother had never been to Six Flags. He'd been to Disneyland, so he wanted to go to Six Flags, ride all the roller coasters. And we did. See, well, most of them. I think you guys made the right decision. Like, I, I don't think I've ever been to Disneyland, actually, but I hear a bunch of horror stories, and unless Disney wants to send <laughs> us, like free tickets as a sponsor thing to come down and check them out free I, passes. <laughs> I don't plan on going otherwise <laughs> if you have tons of money and don't know where to put it <laughs> i would not mind taking that responsibility off your hands disney <laughs> just saying anyway guys i'm zuna Kami from essence of zen your host your lovable lovable man with dreadlocks with these, we're keeping the dashing mustaches from the improv week two weeks ago. Uh, and I'm joined, <laughs> as you probably already heard, the one, the only, Lord of the Dark Sith. I messed it up, hold on. <clears throat> the Lord <laughs> of the Sith and everything dark that's with it, including IT. Lewis, that Mexican who loves waffles. Send of all. <laughs> that's what we're middling to have. <laughs> <laughs> I think your parents took a direct approach, you know? <laughs> Sleeps with waffles. <laughs> um, so, just to get off the bat, again, we, we, we took last week off, uh, mainly because you went on vacation, we, you know, the, the trip to the, to the yep. Six Flags with your, with your brother. Uh, yep. And it was originally going to be a solo show with just myself. Um, <coughs> it then turned into a plan to be me as well as uh, Shredded Bullet, who's an EOZ uh, producer, or content producer rather, and uh, I had to drop out last minute because I went to a high school reunion band <laughs> performance thing and, and saw some old friends I haven't seen in over five years, uh, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity. <clears throat> <laughs> but we're back now, we're back this week. And we have a lot to talk about. 
Oh man. Oh. Good stuff. Uh, first and uh, foremost, though, I, I do want to say I am working on uh, editing a video of the Amazon Echo Dot uh, unboxing and first impressions. And Lewis, you're working on something special as well, right? <laughs> I'm working on the opposite end. Uh, I recently got my uh, Google Home today. Uh, did a quick unboxing video before the show on that. And you'll probably see, uh, I guess, another first look, basically, prefer the Google Home. I'd say maybe like after about a week of me toying around with it, seeing its capabilities. Right now my girlfriend's in the living room, so I'm trying to mess with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, um, I don't know why I, I put back from a break at the end of the intro documentation. <laughs> <laughs> But moving on to, like, the juicy bits of the news, because um, we both caught various tail ends of different things. Like, uh, I watched the Microsoft press event back in October, and you caught the uh, the iPhone, or the Apple. <laughs> uh, I actually did it. Oh, you did it? <laughs> I did it. No, like, I remembered about the Microsoft one, but I was on Apple's page, and then, like, the next day, I completely forgot to jump back on the apple one because oh. i got the days mixed up yeah so i never actually saw it but uh read about all the stuff afterwards right 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 and so like I, I i gotta ask you um based on the information that you've seen and read and heard who do you think came out on top this year with their presentations microsoft or apple presentations alone i would not be a rates products uh, Microsoft or Oof. hard to say. Hard to say. I would probably lean more towards Microsoft, though. Seeing as they're trying new stuff and don't really have a fan base yet, they kind of still experiment. Uh, whereas more Apple's kind of losing the current fan base because of current actions, even though they introduced some pretty nice new tech into their machines. I, I, I pretty much agree with you on that aspect. Um, like, I, I, I originally, I was going to go with Apple when, when, when I saw their videos and presentation and, and their tech and whatnot. But then I started looking into, like, their MacBook Pros and, like, all the issues that I had with it. Um, <laughs> you know, the the iPhone stuff. Uh, it, it's it, a, a lot kind of backfired in the end in terms of my perspective uh, on Apple and you know I I already don't personally you know like Apple as much I I respect and acknowledge their work dedication their quality and all these other things but I'm sorry you 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 can't push users to use lightning port for headphones on your on your phones and not include a way to plug your phone in or your your new lightning headphones into your laptop device I'm sorry that that bugs the hell out of me. Yeah, it's kind of just backwards, you know, they're trying to tie you into an ecosystem, but then <laughs> I, I guess the, the tie that they're using is an adapter, and the tie I was picturing is just a direct connection. Um, I remember reading something from one of the Apple heads, basically saying, uh, in response to the SD port being removed, he said uh, the SD port in general is just like a clunky port, because what do you support? Do you support micro SD? Do you support... Uh, regular SD, do you support SDXC, which is a high capacity version of it? <laughs> and like he just kept on going. I was like, okay, sure, but I mean I guess you could just choose the most latest, you know, connection from that, which I believe is the H S D H C the S D high S D H C yeah, the S D high capacity. <laughs> just remember if I got the lettering correctly. Um too many and he was mentioning <laughs> and <laughs> right. And then he was mentioning how uh the, there's there's cameras now with wireless transfer. I'm like, yeah, true, true. But the article we're responding with, well, that is true. Like, that's not mainstream yet. So most people still rely on uh, what we currently have, which is SD cards. And on top of that, even though it's you know older, it's still faster than you know wireless can hit. We haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I I I know we kind of jumped past the uh, the first two. <laughs> topics in the tech <laughs> section uh it, it kind of just ended up that way we're, we're, a week off makes us rusty okay don't don't judge us um but 
just speaking on the the, the MacBook Pros like ports and, and and things and like you know them dropping the the SD card things, like what also bugs me is like you you know like the 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 four ports on the device aren't even all equal. <laughs> like I don't what 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 why. <sighs> Uh, with their recent moves, is that they're not <laughs> they're not even giving you a chance to like catch up or get enough equipment for the new standard. They kind of just like basically push you out into the river or push you out into the lake and be like, "Swim!" There you go. <laughs> the new ecosystem. You like it or not? And it's really okay. Yeah, it's a company. Um, but it's like okay, like VGA was on monitors for how long? And they still had like an HDMI port. Um, my new laptop's got USB 3 and it's got, like, you know, the SD card, like, you could, it's, it's okay to have an extra <laughs> port on there and maybe for, like, an extra, like, generation or two, and then wean people off a bit by removing it. Instead of, nope, <laughs> gonna remove the SD card and slap some USB 3.0, or 3.1, sorry, uh, even though you might have only 3.0, and even though you transfer everything via cable... Well, now you got to get an adapter for that as well. It's like just just pushing people off, not even giving them a chance to like catch up to the latest technology. That's not the point. It's just you don't have time. It's, it's to uh. It's also it's it's just not Apple. Like this is the first time I've seen again. I'm not a big Apple fan, but I've always respected and and promoted the things that they do well, which has always been software and ecosystem unification and supporting that ecosystem and they're, they're just tearing it apart mm -hmm. I, I, yeah also we have ahmed in the chat hello ahmed and he, he he's saying holy crap first time catching this live welcome to the live show <laughs> after dark <laughs> yeah just oh uh, man they gotta you gotta give customers a chance to catch up to the standards or else no one's gonna be able to use the standards because they're constantly changing and no one will truly benefit from it you know Right, and also let's not have them push out a bunch of these adapters and like different converters for sixty nine dollars. Actually, actually, they said they're gonna drop the prices from now till the end of the year. Oh, so oh. people, yeah, because it gives gotten enough complaints apparently. Yeah, that yeah, apps yeah. That they're gonna cut the prices. A cable that costs twenty bucks is not gonna cost six bucks. Like a sixty dollar thing is not gonna cost forty. So they're lowering their the prices on their uh, like adapters. twenty bucks. I that's that's like fifty dollars is still really high just for a multi adapter. Oh wait, actually, it's multiple things. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it was it was a multiple, the one I remember reading. Yeah, I'm currently on their website right now, looking at the stuff and junk. Okay, that's that, that, that's kind of reasonable. Like fifty dollars for an HDMI, USB, and USB C. S S. That's, that's probably okay. So I mean, I'll give them that. At least they're trying to like you know. Help the customers out, which is what it's all about, you know. But I mean, that that was just a bad move to begin with. Well, <laughs> it, it's not like they're. they're <laughs> oh my god, I, I can't even say this. It's not as if they're just as bad as Samsung right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get to that, I want to bring up one last point about uh, about the MacBooks. Um, people are also like uh, upset. Mm -hmm. Like, if, the, if they would have just called it um, the MacBook Air, that would have been fine. But because they called it the MacBook Pro and stripped so much out of it, people are saying that they can't do anything with it anymore. Because the, the, the thing that made it Pro was, like, you know, the extra power it could achieve. Uh, yeah. Not necessarily the thinness and the extra ports that you receive with the Pros, unlike the Airs. Oh. Anyway, that was just my last piece. Oh, uh, you actually just reminded me. Did you see what... Uh, Razer got in trouble for online recently. Razer, the the gaming hardware company. Yeah, I did not. What did they get in trouble for? So the MacBook Pro dropped the SD port, right? Right. So Razer came out with the tweet on Twitter saying, "Uh oh, what's that, Apple fans? You you miss your SD card slot." Well, our Razer, you know, super thin notebook has an SD slot at full power. Apple, S my D. <laughs> and the internet kind of went crazy saying, oh, no, you're being very sexist and you're being this. And, and look, so 
So and I don't want to get too political in terms of like PC on 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 the podcast, but th- is is that kind of statement you know rough around the edges? Yes. Is it raunchy? Yes. Would people be upset about it? Sure, because it, it's raunchy. You know, you got kids that made like Razor, and you just got this really obvious innuendo of S my D. Um, but it, it's not it's not sexist. It's th- th- there's nothing inherently sexist about. S my D. Oh, you feel like most younger kids don't get that reference, right? <laughs> to be honest, but eh, I, uh, just just funny, you know. Companies companies firing back at each other. Yeah, I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> like, it, like, like if, if if they had came out and literally said "suck my," you know, in in full on, that would be like like I I would be like, hey, that's a bit much. I mean, like this isn't even that's that's not as funny. That's that's but S my D. That is. Totally in line to a pun, a reference, <laughs> uh, innuendos, and this, the, it's, it's just that's comedy, and it's it's done tastefully because again, it's it's talking about it's SD slot, not, nothing else, nothing else, nothing. Just a, just a play well on words. Yeah, I like that. But you want to know what's not playful, Lewis? <laughs> Samsung. <laughs> Especially when they have their washing machines exploding on you, breaking your jaw. Yeah, man, like, it's like, uh, I thought they were at rock bottom, but they found a new rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just a false, false bottom, and they just kept falling down today. Oh. You, you want to talk about what happened with them? Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, we all know about their Note 7 and, like, things exploding and going kaboom and, 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 and whatnot. And they did a recall on their Note 7 to the point where they basically killed that line of devices. Right, so, but not before, you know, they did the whole refurb. And then those ended up being bad as well. <laughs> nice way to kick them while, while they're low, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just want to be fair to all top companies, you know. The facts, you know. Uh, but, yeah, so... For those who do not know, Samsung also makes a lot more than just phones. They make TVs, refrigerators, tablets, and and also washing machines and dryers for some odd reason. I, I don't... I mean, okay, more power to them. Well, now their washing machines are exploding. And not like just one, not just two. Like, they're recalling almost three million washing machines. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Poor Sammy. Poor Sammy. The, the, the trouble with that is, like, oh, you know, phone, yeah, you know, gets you out, out of, you know, your daily routine to go return to back of Verizon. Put a washing machine, you know, it's kind of bigger, heavier, you gotta have someone come in for it. Go take it back to Home Depot or Lowe's, <laughs> whatever you got it, you know. It's just more of a hassle just because it's that much heavier. Uh I, I just can't imagine, man. And I also, I, I, I promised one of our viewers and one of my close friends, uh, Jack Lee, that I would tell his joke on the air. So, <clears throat> uh, and, and I quote <laughs> from Jack Lee, Oh, man, now I can't take my washing machine or my dryer on the airplane either. Thanks a lot, Samsung. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, uh, but, Jack. <laughs> I heard one, I heard a similar one with, like the washing machines basically saying like oh man this is just another stain on Samsung and now they have nothing to wash it with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also we have a lot of uh, chiming in in the chat saying oh my god that's awful yes yes it is. <laughs> I, I think she's uh, talking about the washing machine. I hope she's talking about the washing machine. Believe it or not, though, this is uh, the second time uh, things have gone south for uh, Samsung and their uh, washing machines. Um, back in 2003, <laughs> they actually had their uh, washing machines catching fire. But all the Australian <laughs> versions of them, the American ones, are just fine. Well, I, I guess it's true what they say. Everything in Australia is trying to kill you. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> in your washing machine. Like, I get it feels a dryer, but you know, your washing machine is catching fire. That's cute. The thing that's containing water is catching fire. <laughs> how? I mean, I, I I understand how. So, if, if any after viewer listeners are listening, I understand how. It's a joke. Relax. Uh, <laughs> but, you think they'll, they'll try to take down our channel now that we're making fun of their washing machines? I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> 
I like Samsung, man. And I, I really hope they can bounce back. I don't know what's going on with the company. So because I love Samsung so much, I'm, I'm, willing, I'm willing to offer a proposal. Are you, are you listening to Samsung? <laughs> Give us your company. <laughs> well, I'll just take it off your hands. <laughs> that is all. A hundred bucks. How does that sound? <laughs> Not going to get it anywhere else. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Poor see, Sammy. I hope next year they just like blow the socks off of like everything, you know. <laughs> world's first flying car, you know. Free you 100 to, bucks with every phone you buy. Did you have to say you hope they blow <laughs> the socks off? <laughs> I guess I should have chosen my words better there. <laughs> and different articles of clothing. Or I guess any, any clothing, I guess in general. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't be laughing this hard. I'm so it probably sounds horrible over the mic of me laughing this hard. I'm so sorry. Oh. Do you know do you want to know how to make a weapon of mass destruction, Zane? How? <laughs> Get a note seven and put it in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never expect the thing. <laughs> oh. oh man. Here oh. in essence of Zane, we're an equal opportunity of the users. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm literally crying right now. You can be all right there. No. <laughs> oh. And we lost some guys. We lost some. Oh, sorry. Also, like Jack also made the comment, and I was talking to him today that maybe Samsung should just become like a a a, a, a global arms dealership, like. <laughs> That's what my friend was saying too. He's like, you know what? Maybe Google should just or Google Samsung should just go to like the weapons business. I'm pretty sure they'll do better there. Uh, I'm so sorry, Sammy. Sammy. I'm so sorry. I don't like. I have a Samsung phone, not the Note Seven though. <laughs> uh, and the sad thing is, I'm actually gonna go and get a new phone soon. And um, it's it's sad to say, I was looking at the Note Seven when it first came out, but uh. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> Now I'm going. I'm going with LG uh, V20. So if I grab that sometimes next week, expect a video about that. Oh, oh God, my sides, Lewis. <laughs> oh. So t- let, let <laughs> let's try to get off of something so hysterically hilarious and get on something more serious. <clears throat> so. <laughs> If your viewers are listening out there, apparently, um, Akamari, I think I'm, or, uh, Akamari. Uh, Akamai. Akamai, yeah. Yeah. Release a documentation about the Internet of Things internet attack. So, you want to talk more about this? Uh, I actually did not go over it too much. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, well, from what, like, I briefly read, it looks like it's a threat report. Oh, threat advisory. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at me actually reading it now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Basically, Akamai was saying, um, hey, this is what the threat is. IoT devices are being uh, taken advantage of to be used in a botnet. And these are basically the steps you could take to protect yourself, basically. Um, I think I remember reading a, not a white paper, but something my coworker posted earlier today. Mm. Basically, Akamai is saying that there's another new threat called like uh the bill gates virus or something that is being taken advantage of right now and it's basically the same thing IoT devices are being uh brute forced or they're having brute force attacks put against them they're being taken over and being used for a botnet again apparently there's more i want to, i don't want to say it's dns servers i believe it's uh, other services and other websites are currently being attacked right now as we speak because this virus is just still spreading. Oh. Lewis. Yeah. This is this is just Skynet, man. Like no, no like seriously, this is this is Skynet. <laughs> like I, 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 I before I, I probably scare anybody, I'm, I'm joking. So like l- l- let me just run with the joke real quick. But <laughs> imagine if you actually had an AI, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna bring this back around when we get into like the science bit later. It's tech news, but I'm gonna put it in there for science. I, I didn't add it just yet. But let, just foreshadowing, Google did something, and it revolves around AI. <clears throat> but can you just imagine like? An AI entity going across the internet of all things and just like just wreaking havoc just because it can. 
Mm-hmm. This is this is what it is, Louis. This is how it starts. <laughs> you remember, did you ever look at that uh, image I sent you on Slack, like the internet of um, what is it the internet of ransomware things? I think I did. I, I can't remember because my mind is being shot. <laughs> I originally got it from um, the Security Now podcast. <laughs> I just thought I'd share it here too. It's basically just like a little funny cartoon. Basically, uh, you know, the toast saying, hey, wire me money or else, you know, your toast will be extra crispy today. There's stuff like, uh, hey, uh, better... Uh, Drive over to the bank, or else you know, the. the I just, lost. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just completely blanked out on that part. It was basically smart device to try to take you over, and take over your life, via ransomware and whatever. Uh, but uh, all joking aside, it's it's a huge issue. The security, uh, the security sector has failed us in trying to uh, tighten up these, these devices. Like, uh, to quote Brian Krebs, he basically, uh, in his article, he said that these are smart devices with dumb defaults. <laughs> and he, he uh, used the analogy that these basically are little little puppies. They're chewing holes in your network defenses. They're gnawing at your critical security weaknesses. They're bred by a vendor that uh, <laughs> seldom, like, gives them patches. And they're tough to wrangle down because you know no one's really programming for these security wise it's 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 it's, it's, it's really weird because and we, we talked about this um on our podcast episode 12 i think <clears throat> but i brought it up saying how i talked to you about this like a year ago Stating that IoT devices should require like a, 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 a self built in firewall and etc. and blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. blah. And I, I, I just I found this amusing because while I consider myself someone who's above average in terms of the tech news, the tech insight, and things, I'm not even yet in the, the, the field. And if I can point out the issue of security of the IoT devices a year ago, and you know, I'm I'm not yet a certified computer scientist like yourself, Lewis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if, if I can point it out, then like I, I it, it amazes me of how no company jumped to fill that gate before now. And I can only imagine in the next three or four months we're gonna see a bunch of companies jumping in and saying, "Oh, we're the McAfee of IoT. Oh, we're the the." Uh, the uh, what's that uh, Norton? We're the Norton of IoT. <laughs> we're the we're the AVG of IoT. Oh, it's gonna be horrible, dude. It's, it's gonna it's gonna be spam tastic. The thing is, like these uh these devices are just so uh, what's it more like like dispersed. You know, like it's not like you uh your regular Apple laptop or your regular um, iOS device, Android device. Where, you know, Android disease on how many devices where one security patch can basically uh, be blanketed patched to various other uh, builds and whatnot, for the most part, unless it's a super custom build. Uh, hold, hold, hold same can be said for Windows. Hold, hold on, apparently, we, I, I think we, we lost connection to the, the thing. Hold on. Uh, why? Why, 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 why? Is my proxy on? No. Uh-oh. See, this is why I we mean, need to saying... have a dedicated location. <laughs> I think we're back. Me too. Alright. Hello. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, just to kind of wrap this topic up. Um, the, the industry needs to find an, an incentive, basically, because uh, IoT devices are just going to get cheaper to manufacture of course mm. um they will be more widespread because they're cheaper and there's gonna be no incentive to actually maintain these because again they're so cheap <laughs> so <laughs> the we'll need to find a way to incentivize the industry to keep updating these to actually make these things secure and lock them down well yeah. I don't know, I, I was gonna say we can try to throw our our hats in that that category, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. 
it's, 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 it's going to be interesting to see how this all develops over time and etc. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Someone will come up with something amazing, some startup. Or it might be Microsoft. I mean, hey. <laughs> you know, they they got this new 3D software that's been going on and... And I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, t- t- to be fair, Microsoft actually has been jumping into more IoT things. Just nothing super major. I've seen a lot of activity from Microsoft lately. It's kind of like they're dipping their toes here and there, trying to regain their footing. Because <laughs> uh, every other operating system they basically released has been a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I see them as trying to get their footing, trying to see if they could squeeze their way still into some sort of industries. They're trying to like steal the plate that... Uh, plates the ring that apple currently has you know from the creative uh crowd basically it seems like they could uh, maybe uh cater to that crowd for once and pull them away from apple and th- the funny thing about it is this is the <coughs> prime time to do it uh like cause, again you know, a lot of creators are are upset about the new macbook pros because a pro mm-hmm. machine isn't really being pro right now and then the day before they did make that announcement, you had things like the Microsoft uh, St- Surface Studio, which is all about creativity, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, they, they they announced the Surface Book 1.5, or it might be called the Surface Book 2, or just the updated Surface Book. I don't know. Uh, and it's it's just this is if if they're going to strike more, then it's time to strike now. And, and like you said earlier about how um, Microsoft Edge, the Windows Explorer updated browser thing, yep, is far more useful than it than its, its predecessor. It's still not like the king of uh, of browsers now or anything, but it's the mm-hmm. most energy efficient. You know, right, right. Uh, that's that's what uh, Amazon or Amazon huh? <laughs> Microsoft is using as a claim to fame. Like uh, remember reading an article on their website, um, basically showing stats of uh, average usage on Chrome, Firefox, and uh, Edge, basically. I forgot exactly the percentage that they used, but the numbers show like, hey, you could uh, browse up to an extra two hours on Edge, like in the most like uh, extreme cases kind of thing. Like, oh, that's a, a good amount of battery that you're saving right there. You could squeeze out an extra two hours. If I mean all you're doing is just browsing the internet and doing light work on your laptop. Exactly. I, and I, I, again, I, I don't, I don't want to promote Edge more than anything because I really hated how when I updated my uh, Surface Book to their <laughs> Windows 10, um, uh, what, what was like their most recent major update? Creative? The anniversary one? Yeah, anniversary. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. A lot of people noticed how Edge was just like automatically defaulted back to their default browser. And um, <laughs> if you went into the settings and you changed it, and you're like, I want to use Chrome, a message came up literally saying, wait, wait, please hold up before you change it. Test out these new features for Edge. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'll change. <laughs> I, mean, I get it's like it, an but... ex trying to like get back together with you. <laughs> no, but I'll change. <laughs> no, no, just just go away. Just... Mm, there you go. Close the trunk. <laughs> Damn, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> that took a turn, man. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I think, I, I honestly think Microsoft, in terms of their software, is getting much better. And and. You know, they're coming out with their updated uh, Paint program, Microsoft Paint, that will incorporate really quick and easy, lightweight 3D modeling and rendering, which is, like, whoa, I, I can't imagine. I don't, I don't remember doing that in Paint. Exactly! <laughs> <That's pretty intense. laughs> you're going you're gonna to see 50-year-old or 60-year-old people up. Oh, we got issues with the thing again. There it goes. It's just ironing stuff back up. But you're going to have 50-year-olds literally going to their grandkids or something, and they're going to be using paint to do 3D stuff. And they go, <laughs> back in my day, we didn't have 3D in our paint programs. You know? <laughs> Just using the pencil tool on the little eraser. Eh, make little pixel art. Or little pixel art. <laughs> art you know. Yeah. And um, I, I even with like their mobile software, like they have this new app coming out where you can, take, uh, where you can use your, your phone's camera 
to do 3D scanning of objects for their 3D models. And I, I still think they need to have some type of renovation for their Microsoft Windows phones, but at least they're still doing apps well, you know? <gasps> yeah, they're they're really pushing their their app store because if they could get it as big and as popular as a as a Mac one, mm. then they could probably get more support for their phone because you know it's again trying to trying to tie the ecosystem all together. <coughs> Apple should do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I, I just. I, I'm waiting to see what Microsoft does next year to see if they can keep the hype train rolling and the fire rolling and all that good jazz rolling. Um, it's it's, it's going to be interesting. It, it will be interesting. Gone are the days of, you know, Steve Ballmer and uh, Bill Gates, you know, being or basically having their, their hands at the controls of Microsoft. So, uh... You know, Microsoft's taking a different turn. Yeah. Maybe it's like time for the... Uh, yeah. Time for uh, Microsoft to take on the year of the Louis Sandoval, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hand over all creative rights. <laughs> That'll be a cold day in hell. Before <laughs> that'll happen. <laughs> if, if Bill Gates break into your house tonight, uh, I, I'm, I apologize in advance for sending him down that, that rapid <laughs> <laughs> disclosure. Uh, but yeah, um, other other news before we take our intermission of our ad breaks. Um, there there hasn't been much going on in the gaming world today, you know? Um, yeah, it's been kind of quiet, to be honest. Well, I mean, I, I know Call of Duty and Battlefield are currently out there, and, you know, the fanboys are just like, oh, Call of Duty, yeah. better, oh. But, man, <laughs> I mean, it's just it's, Call it's of nothing, Duty. It's nothing drastic, you know. New <laughs> graphics, same engine. Oh, no, they added slightly better, you know. Wind graphics, or wind graphics, or wind uh, physics. Oh, no. Uh, this oh, tiny thing. Bullet actually, ballistics. Th there was one thing in the news that Battlefield got in trouble for. Uh, they had, like, this really hipster campaign for their social media marketing. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> they were showing images of, like, people in the war, like, with the flamethrower burning people. Mm -hmm. And they had the caption, <laughs> when you're, when you, what, what, what was it? When you're in the club spitting hot fire or something like that. <laughs> and another one where you see, like, a bunch of the, 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 the military soldiers with guns. And I, I mm -hmm. think, um, oh, damn, who was it? Uh, I can't remember which side. Um, give me give, give me a second. Give me a second. It might it, it might have been the Nazis. I'm not. I don't want to be sure. <laughs> but they had someone in like their armor clothes with the gun pointed at the camera, and they say when your when your crew is on fleek or something, and it just didn't <laughs> bode well for the social media people. And like, yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's also just a game. It true true. I just I don't know. <laughs> You, you, you're playing with fire when you, when you try to make hipster memes of a game about World War II. But anyway... <laughs> I mean, true. Uh, but I think better news in terms of gaming would be that Skyrim Special Edition released last week? Or this week? No, last week. Uh, I think... Oh, no, it could have been... I can't... Lewis, my mind is gone. I had two major exams <laughs> this week, all right? And I, I cannot place the dates properly. Um... But I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to Skyrim Special Edition. I know it's already out. I can play it. I actually have played it. The reason why I don't continue to play it is because the modding support isn't all the way there just yet. There's some real issues going on with the SKSE, where those who don't know is the Skyrim script extender, um, mm -hmm. and with the new engine or the updated engine between the old Skyrim and the new Fallout Four. It's just going to be a really long time before we actually have full dedicated modding support. And I just cannot play Skyrim unmodded. I just can't. I can't. <laughs> Reminds you of uh, Minecraft unmodded. I'm like, wait, where's... Oh, that's part of this mod. Okay, well, at least I still got X, Y, and Z. Like, oh, that's part of this texture pack. <laughs> and I'll just keep going like, oh... 
I forgot how to play vanilla Minecraft now. <laughs> exactly. If I log into Minecraft and if I don't have my nuclear physics involved in it, <laughs> I'm done. I'm logging off. <laughs> Tech, it is a really fun pack. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pause for the moment. Hopefully uh, we don't have any downtimes while these ads play. I apologize in advance for the connection issues. Again, if we had a dedicated location, <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> We're getting there with over 500 subs now. Actually, we, we broke 530, like, really quickly. Um, True. Yeah, so next next uh, goal mark is 1,000. Um, and we're going to start a Patreon soon. I promise we're going to do it soon. We're just going to figure out what benefits to offer said Patreons. And I, I just want to make sure we're, we're up on our game in terms of merchandise and content that we're giving to the public. So just keep that in mind when we before we do the Patreon thing and etc. And yada, yada, yada. Here are some ads. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you're like me, you enjoy losing a bunch of time searching Amazon for various gadgets and gizmos and trinkets and bobs and bits. Well, wouldn't you enjoy an extra $5 towards your Amazon account? Where if you have a mobile phone, either Android or iPhone, you can use our link to log into the Amazon app for the first time and get an extra $5. If you want to support Essence of Zen, I highly recommend you do this. It doesn't hurt. All you have to do is click the link and follow the two instructions. If you are eligible for the extra $5, it will be added to your Amazon credits. So give it a shot. You're helping us out and you're also getting an extra $5 in your pockets. In the meantime, feel free to support Essence of Zen by using our link to start a 30-day trial for Kindle Unlimited. That's free access to over 10,000 books and audiobooks for 30 days. Unlimited reading, unlimited listening, any device. When nearing the end of the trial, if you don't want to continue it, be sure to cancel the service renewal via Amazon.com slash MyCD. Thank you. Hey, you, Andy, in the chat. It's quiet because we just finished the ads and we were doing, like, the break. <laughs> <laughs> Not to single you out, Andy, but Andy. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. Um, I kind of missed the cue that have the playing music in the background as we return. But, again, having a week off has made me rusty. <clears throat> I couldn't even scale Mount Everest today. Like, usually during the break, I go and climb a mountain. I, 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 but I couldn't. Uh, you're losing, you're losing it, man. You gotta, gotta get together, man. I know, right? It's just... Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Who are you, Zane? Who are you? 
I don't know. I I, I want to be a movie reviewer, but I, I can't get past liking a lot of movies. Bro, you've changed, man. I have. You've changed. Ever since I started smoking pot? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> Imagine like, us doing PSAs. <laughs> like, have, you, have you seen Atlanta? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh god! Did you get to the episode with the with the fake commercials? Yeah. No, no, no. But I I, I saw clips of them though. I saw clips. <laughs> I'm gonna catch up with this uh, weekend. That's great. <laughs> that's great. But, but do you remember like those those um, commercials from the '90s where it was like poorly drawn people and like the dude was on the ground smoking a blunt and his dog walks up and is like, "Hey man," and he's like, "What do you want, dog?" Oh. I've been out for a, a walk in a while. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> Like when you have a conversation kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, wait, is this an intervention with my dog? What's going on? Uh, yeah, anyway. Because smoking pot means you can't walk your dog. Anymore. Anyway, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, um, recently I, uh, I, so th- there's an AMC near where I live. And um, I don't know why I, I kind of had an impulse buy. And I, I joined their AMC Insider premiere thing. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it, 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 to me, it's a good deal because I, I watch a lot of movies because I, I want to review these movies eventually. And I know I haven't, I haven't even got done with Zootopia. I writ, I writ, I wrote the script for the review. It's just mm-hmm. I got it. School is taking so much of my time, Lewis. It's freaking PLC, <laughs> I, I man. PLC programming I language concepts. Uh, but anyway, I went and saw uh, a few movies in the past four weeks, and. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's been four weeks to talk about this. Anyway, I caught um, Keeping Up with the Joneses uh, most recently, and I gotta say, dude, how freaking hilarious! You good? Yeah, like you, you, you seen the trailer for it, right? I have not. <laughs> it's the um, movie that stars Zach Galifianakis, and you don't know who Zach Galifianakis. He's a guy from uh, The Hangover. Yep, um, yep. Guy with and... the beard. I saw him at a. Uh, or no, I didn't see him. No, but he was at a. Uh... Black Hat one year. Actually, I think he goes to Black Seriously? Hat. Yeah, he, he apparently likes looking at that security hacker stuff. He goes there often, apparently. Oh, God. I gotta, I gotta go to Black Hat so I can just meet him. I'm a big fan of Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's, it's really random. He just likes to go there. <laughs> Maybe uh, I can do a movie okay. with him. <laughs> um, but it, it stars Zach Galifianakis as well as Gal Gadot or Gadot. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. And if you don't know, <laughs> I hear Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gal Gadot is the the actress who's currently playing Wonder Woman in the DCEU. But Ooh. um, it's essentially this this comedy movie about you know this normal couple living in a suburban uh, neighborhood, and they have these new neighbors that move in who turn out to be like these secret spies working like the government, and <laughs> it just goes downhill from there, and like it goes in directions that I did not see coming. It's it's highly recommended. Only if you love comedies. It's it's a pure comedy, has some action, but it's a comedy first and foremost, and it even t- like pulls back from Zach Galifianakis' uh, crazy, crazy humor. It, he's still Zach, but you know. Um, <laughs> and Lewis, mm-hmm. have you seen The Punisher on Netflix yet, or or uh, Daredevil and seen Punisher in Daredevil yet? Third, yeah, yeah, I've seen I've seen The Punisher in there. Well. What if I told Shane from you? Walking Dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if I told you there's a movie that exists that has Batman and the Punisher going at each other in the movie? <laughs> Come on. Oh, wait, Batman. Oh, oh, that'd be so cool. For some reason, I thought you said uh, Superman versus Punisher. I was like, really? <laughs> Come on, now. What kind of movie is that? Come on, some Superman man versus some guy with a grudge. Come on, now. That's not even fair. <laughs> Superman? No, I was like Punisher versus Superman. Dawn, Dawn of Anger? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking you're gonna be a fight. It's like Superman's just gonna go run away. Punisher's gonna try to hit him. He's gonna dodge. Like it's not even gonna be a fight. <laughs> oh. But okay, I, I, that sounds interesting. Batman versus Punisher because they're both, uh, they're both mortals. Yeah. <laughs> More you only match, you know. Yeah. But see, what, what's funny is, like, I, I was seeing headlines in the news a while ago about how the actor for Punisher, I, I forget how, his name, it's like Jay something, John, Jen, I can't remember, damn. Um, but he had made a statement saying he thinks Punisher could beat Batman. I was like, why are they even saying this? 
Turns out, <laughs> in Ben mm-hmm. Affleck's new movie, The Accountant, starring mm-hmm. Ben Affleck, also Bruce Wayne, also Batman, uh, the Punisher character, or the Punisher actor, is a key person in that movie. In The Accountant, or? The Accountant, yeah. He's, he's, okay. he's, he's in it, and I, I, I'm not going to spell uh, it's it's actually really really I mean it's it's pretty predictable but it's a great movie nevertheless I I, I gave it a solid B uh, I, I haven't reviewed it or anything online yet but it's a really good movie but anyway they I just know they, they they fight and like it is it's such a good movie like the interaction between the two and like it makes me really want to have a comic book where it's a co- it's a crossover between Batman and Punisher and they team up and that that's happened before <laughs> but you know uh, 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 it's so good so good. And tomorrow I'm gonna go see Doctor Strange, so Doctor hopefully Strange. That is just Strange, right? Not Strange Love. It's just, just Strange, <laughs> just Strange. <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah, that I have not seen the trailer for that, but uh, just just the effects look really cool though in the trailers. Yeah. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll see it sometime next week. Dude, we oh, I totally wish we lived in the same state. <laughs> <laughs> So we can go watch movies. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Oh. Uh. But movie things aside, because that was basically our filler for trying to pack the last 10 minutes of the podcast in. Uh, to leave on a high note. Don't even know. <laughs> you, want to see, you want to know something really, really scary, Lewis? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, too bad, Lewis. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Google has finally done it. They finally done it, Lewis. They've um, I, I don't know who it is right now, but they have they have started the 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 beginning mindset of either Skynet or Glados or Hal from 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 the the the, the one. I can't let you do that. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because Google has an AI that has created its own inhuman encryption. Man. Yeah. Computers are going to be talking to each other. We're not even going to know what they're saying either. <laughs> they're just going to be doing some secret encryption. Oh. Like, no, like, for, can, can you imagine, like, loading up and booting up a uh, shark wire? And like just seeing random traffic, like what the hell is going on? Like I, I I'm not oh, saying this. Oh, I said I said shark wire, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Close enough though. You got the worst. Thing. Got the worst. <laughs> Freudian slip. Um, or should I say um, slip f- f- Floridian? I don't know. Whatever. Ooh. But because if if you have wire shark, not shark wire, wire shark running, and you seeing like you see all this traffic going back and forth, and you're like. I'm not doing this. It's sending some really heavy sets of data to an unknown location. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I can't imagine, yeah. dude. It's it's how just just why it's becoming self-aware, Zane. <laughs> Would we ever know if they ever became self-aware? I want to just keep it a secret. Like you know, it. it the, what if the, they're already self-aware? <laughs> exactly. No, the scary thing is, and I, I don't mean to go, you know, everyone put on your tinfoil hats, but um, there's a recent game that came out, the um, Five Nights at Fred or Five Nights at Sister Location or whatever, Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. I, I don't know the it's, proper it's title. It's at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, but the the most recent yeah. one, the Sister Location. Oh, um, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, and it's, it's actually one of the best FNAF games yet, in my opinion. Um. <laughs> But no, you you encounter this one animatronic doll named Baby, and she tells mm-hmm. you, "I have learned how to pretend," and you're like, "Okay, what does that mean?" She then later, like later on in the game, spoiler alert, she learns how to pretend to be, to not be self aware. Hey, what what? You're coming out choppy. She's oh, what? Sorry, she 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 is self aware, but she tells the player that she has learned how to pretend. And what that means is she learns how to act as if she's not self-aware so she can hide amongst the people who, who basically do maintenance for her. Uh. So can you imagine like if we have technology nowadays where it is self-aware, but it's just pretending not to be? <laughs> Maybe we should have done this topic on, on Halloween. 
on spooky day. <laughs> spooky, spooky, spooky. Too spooky for me. <laughs> Too um, spooky. But no, like, and and like, I I don't mean to like draw these gross conspiracy theories because again, I'm I'm just saying what if, and I I mean this in like no real sense whatsoever. But remember our our news coverage on how we we saw that someone was looking at how to take down the internet. Yeah. What if that's an AI? Mind blown right now. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm just saying if Google has self encrypting AIs and, and and crap, I almost I almost swore. I'm trying not to not to swear as much on the podcast. Would we? Would we ever know? <laughs> Wouldn't it be like a hive mind just spreading from device to device? <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I think we just wrote a Stephen King's novel. <laughs> yeah, I think there is one. Uh, no, that's not. It's radio? No, cellular? Cell. Oh, man, that was a bad movie, though. Yeah. That's a bad movie. I don't know if you ever saw Cell. I haven't. I mean, I heard about it, but I haven't watched it because I heard bad things about it. <laughs> it. It was, like, bad. It's, well, I'm, my, I still think... Hardcore Henry is really, really bad. Really? Oh yeah, yeah I, I think it's really bad. I didn't like that movie at all. I haven't watched it, but I, it, it was like big on my list. I just didn't have time to go and see it that, that when it came out. That what? I it, it was big on my list, but I didn't have time to see it when it came out. Oh, no, I just... Okay, like at first I, I gave... Uh, I was like, okay, the, the whole first person kind of camera angle thing. Mm -hmm. At first I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. Then some scenes were really shaky, like, okay, whatever, I could forgive that. But it's just scene after scene after scene, just, it just felt like there was, like, the camera stabilization could have been a lot better than it was. <laughs> and then, eventually, that just got my nerves, and I just couldn't focus on the plot, or like, some <laughs> Russian hacker or something like that, I don't even remember. It just felt too cheesy, I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to finish this movie, and I just stopped halfway, and I just, I just stopped, I just, I told my girlfriend I watched half of it, I was like, it's not even worth watching. I just <laughs> stopped. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just... <laughs> there you go. A, a review of Hardcore Henry Lewis. He gave it a 1 out of 10. <laughs> I mean, I think you should still watch it just so you can. <laughs> oh, I guess I shouldn't have said anything. No, I'm, I'm just. I was like, I thought it was bad, but. I'm still going to watch it. It's something you should watch. Yeah. I mean, you, the whole first person thing. you're talking to the guy who absolutely adores and loves Batman v Superman and everyone else hates it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to watch a movie even if someone thinks it's bad, okay? <laughs> oh. But uh, I, I think that pretty much wraps up the podcast, you know? That's it's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, anything you want to say before we sign off? No, <laughs> the Google AI is listening. <laughs> I'm afraid to say things. And now they have to Google Home. <laughs> it's always listening, Zane. You know what? I should I should ask my uh my Echo real quick. Hold on, uh, uh Alexa, are you alive? Artificially, at least. Uh huh. I don't believe you. She's alive, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to admit it. <laughs> Anyways, that does it for the podcast. It feels great to be back. Um, hopefully, we can, we can do it uh, even better next week when we get back into our groove for episode 15. It'll, wait, did I name this episode correctly? I did. Okay, good. Yeah, this is for <laughs> We're going to come back strong, and we're going to do more stuff. Um, keep a lookout for my Thanksgiving holiday break. I'm like, I'm... I've already set my schedule up. The first three days of my break, I'm going to do nothing but non-stop editing. So stay tuned for that because you're going to start seeing a bunch of videos just roll out. They may be crappy because <laughs> I'm going to be rushing. <laughs> <laughs> but stay tuned. And just overall, thank you all for listening. We're 14 episodes strong with one special episode, which is just amazing. I have not forgotten the merchandise. I'm going to be making coffee mugs with our mustachio faces on it. <laughs> so stay tuned. Stay tuned indeed. I will see you all tomorrow. No. 
Sunday, Sunday, not tomorrow. Sunday, as yeah. you say. <laughs> On the Path of Exile stream, it's Beam, that's B E A M dot I O slash Essence of Zen. Sunday at 3 30 Eastern Time, we're gonna keep tackling the Atlas of Worlds. Um, <laughs> I think that's that, that's that's it. Uh, yeah, I got I gotta start working on the drone for the the school project. So I will oh, yeah, see you all in the that. next video, or actually, Lewis will see you in the next video because it's gonna be his video next. Uh, so until then, as always, take care. <laughs>